Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn a lot of things. How do you create an entity? How do you upload a file to an entity? There are a lot many steps you are going to learn in this specific video. So without making any delay, let's get started. The very first thing we will do, we will log into Automation Cloud and here click on this three dots and then you will have data service. So click on data service. In the data service, the word that you will find is entity. Entity means what? Entity, remember this data service is a kind of a physical uh, storage, right? It's a persistent storage where it stores your data. Think you have created a, a table where you have different kinds of data, different kind of columns you have. It's called an entity. Entity more like you consider it as a table, okay? Consider it as a small table which contains different sets of data. So create a new entity, nothing but we are creating a new table. So I am going to click on create new entity and give it some name. Let's say I am going to give it a name called test1 and I am going to write for testing purpose and going to click on save. So what happened here in the data service which acts like a database containing multiple tables. Here I have created one table which is test1. Pretty simple. Okay. Once you have created this, go back to your App Studio. Okay. I'll go back to the App Studio and here is a simple container layout which I've kept. From here, we are actually learning how to upload file to that entity which we have created. Getting it? We are actually learning how do you upload a file to the, to the entity which you have created just now. Now, let's go back to the entity little bit. This is the entity which we have created. I am going to click on this entity name, click on this entity name. So what you find here ID, create time, create by, update time, right, updated by, like um, if you create a, for example, let me give you a small example, let's say if you open your downloads folder and you can see there are so many files which have downloaded, which has certain things, right, the name, it has a date modified, type, size. It has some predefined columns which is storing the data, uh, you know, um, properties of that data. You know, at what time it was modified, uh, type, size, like like this. There are so many details. Same thing when you create an entity, you can see there are so many different details: ID, create time, created by, updated time, updated by. By default, system built fields. These are called in a column. These are system built. By default, it will be there. Okay. Uh, which is good which is supposed to be there now let's say i would like to create my own column name so i'll click on create new field and here we'll be dealing with the file we'll be uploading a file so i'm going to create a column called file okay created a column called file and here it is saying type in your column are you going to store a text data are you going to store a number kind of a data what kind of a data you're going to store in that column so i'm saying hey i want to store a file itself so I've selected what type file. Okay, for this example, this is what we need and I'm going to hit on save. So what happened by creating a field, you can see a file field got created, a new field got created called file and the type is file. Done. So we are done with the, you know, entity. Now we have to understand how to upload a file into that entity where it has a column called a file. I have to upload a file into that. How to do it? It's quite simple. First thing, I'm going to click on this plus sign. Go to input and there is something called file picker. Let me drag and drop the file picker into my container layout. Now, once I have this, we are going to add certain properties to it. For example, I want the maximum file size to be 5 MB. So I will change certain values of the property of this particular uh, control. Okay. Um, and then helper text, it's okay. Allowed file types. This is important. I would like to allow only PDF, comma, or PNG files, nothing else. So you can mention it here, PNG, dot PNG. So separated by a comma, dot PDF, comma, then give a space, then dot PNG. Like that you can write as many different extension that you would like to allow through this file upload, you know, file picker control. 
done and then label i will say select a file i think that should be simple okay done let's say you would like to change the size and style of this particular uh, control select it and let's say i would like to extend it like this and let's say i would like to have certain some other color to it i'm going to select that you can see it has changed to you know i want to make it slightly bold so all these things you can do it now after this i'm going to add a small button into it to the container let me drag and drop a button so the button has appeared on the right uh, which is fine and i'm going to change it to submit if you need it in some other area you can use the styling option okay so submit or you can say upload right upload would be a better word upload done so the designing has been done now how it will work we are going to learn next click on this upload button select the upload button and go to events and click on create rule here there is something called create update entity record yesterday we have learned how to upload file to storage bucket today we are going to learn create update entity record okay now here i will select an entity now to select an entity you should have already exported the entity into your app we have not done it so let's quickly do that first click on this inverted triangle and click on entity and this is the test one entity which i have created which has a file column and i'm going to add that so what would happen from the orchestrator it get linked give it few seconds okay you can see the system user has come and the test one has come so test one is the entity which has already linked to the app studio now let's go back go back to the main page select upload and i'm going to click on edit rule and here create update entity record i am going to use a equal symbol and select the uh, entity which is nothing but your test one where you would like to update now this entity has got a field called file it is not showing the default system generated columns updated by id and all that it is showing what you have created so i have created a field called file you remember uh, and type is file so it is showing value to set file now here the file picker control if you see the file picker control i am going to drag and drop that file picker control here okay if it doesn't come simply write equals equals and then drag and drop the file picker control okay this is how you have to do it so what happened any file that are uploading in the file picker control will automatically the moment somebody hits on the upload button it will automatically transfer those files into the file column of the entity quite simple now let's say i would like to have some message created okay let me have a message created show message and i'm going to say uploaded successfully uploaded okay and i'm going to delete this and only show the title and here the type i would say success when created and updated it will show a message saying updated successfully and it is going to stay for let's say 5 seconds done so i'm done with the configuration now let's run it and see if it is working or not so i'm going to hit on preview okay so it's taking time got it i am going to select a file okay now the first thing i will do i will select some rom file let's say uh, instead of pdf and this one uh, let's say i would select um, uh, some excel file okay some excel file excel file so if i select this click on open um, you know a file type is not allowed it it is giving an error here okay so let me select a proper file getting it so the validation happens so let me select some png file may 03 2023 so select this png file all done and i'm going to hit on upload okay you can see it gave a message upload uploaded successfully got it so now let's go to the entity and check here if the data has come or not so i'll go to the data field of the entity test one uh not here let me go back to the entity once one step back test one data and you can see 
the data has appeared may 03 2023.png file got uploaded into the column there is a id this is the file column which i have created create time created by update time these are all system updated by all these things are picked by the system getting it so you understood how a entity or a table got created and how we have uploaded a file into the entity using uipath apps i hope there would have been a lot of learning uh, in this video and we are going to come up with more such contents uh, so please stay tuned and do subscribe to the channel thank you take care bye bye